name is Muhammad Aiman Hakim bin Shamsul Kahar. Matric number 19139248. Today, I want to present about the practical on protocol analyzer why sharp that assignment. My team is Muhammad Halid Azhar bin Muhammad Kavi. Matric number 19139248. Five four five, and Muhammad Rifki Mizal bin Rosmi, metric number one nine one three nine two five five two. Okay. The first lab I want to do is the TCP lab. First question is what is the sequence number of the TCP? Sin segment that is used to initiate the TCP connection between the client computer and Gaia.cshumas.edu. The sequence number you can see here is zero. You can find here. What is or is it in a segment that identifies the segment as as the sin segment? You can see here at the flag. The scene is set to one. So uh, uh, that means it indicates that this segment is a scene segment. Okay. Question number two. What is the sequence number of the scene segment sent by Gaia to the client computer in reply to the scene? The sequence, the sequence number is zero. Here you can see, and uh, what is the value of a knowledge field? The knowledge field number is one. So number is zero, and the knowledge number is one. How did Gaiomas determine that value? The server adds one to the initial sequence number of the scene segment from the client computer. For this case, the initial sequence number of the scene segment for the client computer is zero. Thus, the value of the arrangement field in the scene X segment is one. What is it in the segment that identifies the segment as the scene next segment? Here you can see if the arrangement flag is set to one and the scene flag also set to one, but that means it's a scene X. Simon. Next, question number three. What is the sequence number of the TCP segment containing the HTTP, HTTP post command? So, now that in order to find the post command, you need to dig into the packets. Okay, okay. So I found the post. Post data, the data with the post. So the sequence number of the CP segment containing the post is one. Next, consider the TCP connection. What are the sequence number of the first six segment in the TCP? Okay, so here you can find the first six segment. TCP is a uh, identify it. By TCP segment of December TDU. So, by that means, this is the first segment, second segment, third, fourth segment, fifth segment, sixth segment. So, the sequence number you, uh, you can find here in the box. Sequence number, uh, segment, segment one, the sequence number is one. Segment two, the sequence number is five, six, six. Segment three, the uh, sequence number is 2026 and so on. At what time was each segment sent? The time you you can find the time each segment sent here, the time column, uh, based on each segment, each segment 1, segment 2, segment 1. It, the time sent is 0 0.026477. Uh, segment 2, the 
segment sand is 0 0.041737 second. Okay, you can find. Okay, see what was the act for each segment receives. Uh, uh, so segment one. Uh, I receive is zero point zero five three nine three seven seven two zero point zero seven seven two nine four seconds. You can find it here. So the to find the receive segment, you can just identify it by source and its destination. For example, here. At the sand, the source is 192.168.1.102 and the IP for destination is 128.119.245.12. So I receive its uh, it's the opposite. The source is the IP source is 128.119.245.12 and this destination IP is 192.168.1.102. So you can use that and see at the time. So given the difference between when each TCP segment was sent and when each element was received. What is the RTT value for each of the six segments? To find the RTT, the RTT P value uh, is by taking the time received, time at received minus the time set, and you then you can get the RTT value. For example, RTT for segment 1 is 0.027456 seconds. RTT for segment 2 is 0.035557 seconds. Okay, move on to the next question. What is the length of each of the first TCP segment? So you can find the first uh the length here. Yeah. The first segment is five six five. Second segment is one four six zero length, and so on. Okay, question number six. What is the minimum amount of available buffer space advertised at the receive for the entire trace? So you can identify the buffer space by looking at the receive. The receive segment and look at the win. For example, segment one, the available buffer space is six seven. Segment two, the buffer space is eight eight seven six zero. So the minimum question here was the minimum minimum amount of available buffer space is. 6780 bytes. So, next question Are there any retransmitted segment in the trace file? No, there is no retransmitted segment in the trace file. This can be explained by packet with same sequence number at different time. It's not found. How much data does the receiver typically acknowledge in an act? Uh, so you can find the uh, yeah, and receive data for segment one act is five six six for segment two act act is two zero two six and so on. Can you identify the receiver where receiver is acting every other receive segment? Uh, so The act number increased by 1460 each time, indicating that the receiver is analyzing 1460 bytes. What it means is you can find the difference by minusing 7x66 with 
1,4608. This will equal to 1,4608 bytes. It is the same like, uh, as 6406 minus 4946. It will, it will equal to 1,460 and so on with 74 minus 73, 73 minus 72, 72 minus 71. The equal is 1460 bytes. Okay, question number nine. What is the throughput for the CP connection? Explain how you calculate this value. Okay. The amount of data transmitted, uh, you can find at the last, at the last TCP segment. The TCP, the last TCP segment. So uh, the amount of data transmitted is 164041 bytes. Time incurred, uh, minor, uh, we can find it by the last time minus the first time segment. This is the last time segment, first, ta first time segment. So it equal seconds. Five point two two four three four zero four seconds. So the throughput is by dividing the amount of data transmitted with the time equal. The uh, then it equals to three thirty one point two. 5k bytes per second. Okay, number 10, view time sequence graph, Stephen plotting tool to view the sequence number versus time plot of segments being sent from the client to the Gaia. Then you define where TCP so start, phase begin and ends so when the condition where it takes over. By observing the plot, we can see that the slow start phase only lasts four. 0.0345 seconds. Here, for example, uh, uh, all right. Here it is slow start zero to z. Money. This one. Zero point three. Five seconds. Then it will the same, so on. Okay, that is all for DCP. Thank you.